Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we're gonna talk about IOTA. What is this and how it's used in the real life? What are IOTA's advantages and disadvantages? So watch this video till the end and you will not have any questions about what IOTA is. So let's start. IOTA is a cryptocurrency, but that doesn't tell you much. It's very different from other forms of digital money like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple and Dash. It's designed for the Internet of Things. Its developers see a future where machines trade resources and services with each other using IOTA as payment. So what is IOTA exactly? How does it work and what are its advantages over other cryptocurrencies? IOTA solves many of the problems other cryptocurrencies face. It's because it's not based on a blockchain, but rather on direct acyclic graph, referred to as a tangle. Traditional blockchain technology works by building various transactions in each block, then paid miners verify each transaction. Things are different with Tangle, where making and validation transactions go hand in hand. To make a transaction, you have to participate in the network by approving two past transactions. The result? All transactions are free. You don't have to pay a single cent when using IOTA, whereas sending someone a Bitcoin can cost a few bucks these days. And the transaction fee associated with Bitcoin increases as more people use the cryptocurrency. Not so with IOTA, which will stay free regardless of how popular it may become. The free nature of IOTA opens the door to micropayments, which will be important as the IoT industry develops and grows. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies fail in this area. When sending a small amount of money to someone, you have to pay a transaction fee that can be many times larger than the payment. In addition to being free, IOTA has room to grow. With Bitcoin, the more transactions they are, the slower the system gets. Scalability is one of the biggest problems with Bitcoin, which led to the introduction of Bitcoin Cash. IOTA is different as the network speed increase when more users are making transactions. What is IOTA? How was it created? And where can you buy it? IOTA first came onto the scene in 2014. It's not mined like the majority of other cryptocurrencies. All IOTAs that will ever exist have already been created with a Genesis transaction. This means the total supply of coins will always stay the same. IOTA is designed for machines, so the high supply makes the cryptocurrency optimal for nano transactions. Getting your hands on IOTA isn't as straightforward as buying Bitcoin. You can buy it directly with your credit card. You first have to get a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin or Ethereum and then transfer it to an exchange that supports IOTA, where you can trade on cryptocurrency for the other. If you want to know how to buy IOTA, you can check our links below this video. Is IOTA a good investment? Now that we know what is IOTA, what is its mission? Namely, to become the backbone of lot. On the other hand, Bitcoin aims to become a globally adapted currency that could improve or even replace conventional money and Ripple mainly serves as a payment network for financial institutions. Nevertheless, the majority of people today still only see cryptocurrencies as an investment opportunity. IOTA is the seventh largest cryptocurrency in the world by market cap. At the time of speaking, one IOTA will set you back around $5, making it far less valuable than Bitcoin. For further details, use the links below. IOTA's value has increased dramatically in recent months, but that doesn't mean the trend will continue in the future. Some financial experts see cryptocurrencies as a bubble that will eventually pop, while others still believe that they should be a part of everyone's investment portfolio. So don't forget about the words of Couch. Never invest more money into cryptocurrencies than you can afford to lose. They are extremely volatile. Value goes up and down a lot, making them less stable than standard currencies like dollars and euros. What is IOTA's Tangle? The network is able to achieve consensus with no transaction fees with the use of Tangle technology. The Tangle is a coined term of IOTA's DAG, directed acyclic graph, on which the network is based. Instead of being packaged into the blocks, 
and chained one after another, IOTA's transactions are connected in a big tangled web. Rather than having mining firms mine whole blocks, each user verifies the past two transactions with a tiny amount of work before he or she can send their own transaction. In this way, the cost of each transaction is the cost of electricity it took your node to verify the past transactions rather than a fee set by a network of miners. Furthermore, since Tangle technology doesn't have blocks, one doesn't need to wait for verification. Transactions are mined in parallel and as a result happen instantly. This is precisely why Tangle-based cryptocurrencies are able to achieve the highest TPC rates among all blockchain-based currencies. IOTA's network resilience Another advantage of using Tangle technology is that the network becomes more resilient to quantum computing and also to the infamous 51% attacks you may have heard. It was believed that if an attacker has an access to 51% of Bitcoin's network power, he or she could take over the cryptocurrency. However, it was later found out that 34% was enough. Essentially, was it required to take over a blockchain-based network is a certain percentage of the total hashing power. Because of IOTA's network topology, there are three things that are required in order to perform such an attack. A percentage of the network hash rate, having a full view of the network, being paired with a certain percentage of nodes. The first variable is self-explanatory. A full view of the network is required in order to propagate the raw hashing power effectively throughout the network. Finally, that hashing power must be paired with a sufficiently high percentage of nodes in order to actually propagate the attack successfully. If the attack isn't performed fast enough, the network will easily see the anomaly and ignore the threat. While there is a slim chance that an attacker may gain enough hash power and be paired with a large enough amount of nodes, the network topology is kept private because connections between nodes are private. Thus, it would be extremely unlikely that such an attack would successfully take place. There are there are two main options for storing IOTA. The first is to download the wallet from IOTA's GitHub and install the node on your computer. Since you need to perform some work in order to send a transaction, you would need to run a node on your computer in order to send transactions on the IOTA's network. The other option is to use an exchange wallet, but do so at your own risk. Remember that if an exchange goes down or gets hacked, you will lose access to your MIOTA. The exchanges that currently support IOTA trading are Binance, CoinOne, Bitfinex and OKEX. Hopefully we have answered the questions, what is IOTA for you? These are only a few basic facts about IOTA. The technology is still relatively new and while we may treat it primarily as an investment opportunity today, IOTA might be soon become a bigger part of our daily lives. Although people mostly talk about Bitcoin or Ethereum, Litecoin and Dash, there are more than 1000 cryptocurrencies out there. Some could impact our lives in major ways, while others will quickly be forgotten. It's hard to predict which camp IOTA will fall in. So, IOTA is definitely at the forefront of cryptocurrency. With its state-of-the-art tangled technology enabling instant and free transaction, it's the main candidate for the emerging lot market. Having partnerships and use cases in the real world serves as the proof of concept for IOTA's vision. As the amount of smart devices increases every year, the number of use cases for IOTA will only grow, so it's natural to assume the currency price will also right. So guys, it was all for today, but if you want to know more information about what is IOTA, use the links below this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Have a good day and see you soon. Bye!